Uh, they also say, if Jesus was sinless, why did he have to get baptized? Sorry if I'm asking like these. Uh, so you mean persons. the same Bible that tells you he's sinless has no problem with him getting baptized? It wouldn't have a problem. Okay. So if the Bible says he's sinless and the Holy Son of God, and anyone can get baptized by John, then obviously he didn't get baptized by John because he's a sinner. Right? Right. So you can't use the Bible against me that says Jesus is the sinless, pure, holy son of God who one got baptized because that means he didn't get baptized because he's a sinner. Because the Bible tells me the sinless son of God who is pure, who always pleases God, went to get baptized, which means he didn't get baptized because of any sin. And let's see what happens when he gets baptized. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, can you open up your Bible? Yeah, okay. okay, if you're there, then read Matthew 3, 16, 17. It came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth, or Galil, and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And I, immediately coming up from the water, he saw the heavens parting and the Spirit descending upon him like a dove. Slowly. Then a, voice, Slow. then a voice came from heaven, you are my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. You just buried Muhammad again because the same Bible says that when he got baptized, the father gave witness, this is my son whom I love, with him I am well pleased. Oh, I thought that made him a sinner. Well, how can he be a sinner when God says, with you I am well pleased and you're my beloved son? Are these guys like special kind of stupid? This is your brain on the black stone. You get rocked. You get stoned. <laughs> you got it? A lot of the logic doesn't make sense, but I'm still curious because I don't really good. have a full answer. I, I'm saying a lot of the logic they bring up doesn't make full sense, but I still don't know how to answer it entirely. Okay, but you get an answer. Say, wait, you mean the same baptism scene where when Jesus comes out of the water, the Holy Spirit comes down to him on him in all his fullness in the shape of a dove. And the father speaks audibly. So then John hears him say, this is my beloved son. You are my beloved son, my son whom I love. I'm well pleased with him. Does that sound like Jesus had to get baptized because he's a sinner? Uh, no. So you understand why the baptism was important? Yes. Because why was it important? Because he said, you are my beloved son in whom I will please. So this was the time in which the father would give his seal of approval and public confession and testimony as a witness on behalf of Jesus to John, who Jesus is? Son of God. Huh? The Son of God. So why was the baptism important again? Because of what the context says. Uh, you want me to read it again? No, you don't need to read it. I want you to explain because I'm the Muslim asking you. Because a voice came from the heavens uh, and said, You are my beloved son in whom I will please. So this was God's plan of making known and revealing Jesus' identity to John? Yes. And so does that mean that Jesus is a sinner because John bapti baptized him? Or does it show that the Muslims need to stop kissing the black stone because they're stoned on the black stone? It shows that they need to stop kissing the black stone. Because the last thing Matthew, Mark, Luke tell us is this is proof that Jesus is a sinner because they all go out of the way to say that Jesus is sinless. He is pure. He is holy. And that at baptism, the father himself spoke audibly saying, this is my son. I love him. And I'm well pleased with him. Well, you can't be well pleased with a sinner, can you? Right. And this again shows the Quran is a lie because here God is saying, Jesus is my son whom I love. Should I should I also read uh, Matthew? Or is it pretty much? Oh, well, you want to read Matthew? It's the same story, but you want to read it? It's up to you. Will that make you happy? Yeah, I'm right here. I, I, I'm reading well, why don't you go to John, John 1, 32, 33 to see why okay. it was instead of Matthew? Because I know it's going to make you happy. Matthew 3, 13, 15. Uh, I need to be baptized with you, yet you come to me. Suffer, John, for righteousness sake. Go to John 1, 32, 33, mister. Now, John was going to tell you that the baptism was important for him to get the con confirmation, the testimony from the Father. He is the one. And speak in the mic and speak it loud. Uh, and John bore witness, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and you remained upon him. I did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, Upon whom you see the Spirit descending and remaining on, Remaining on him, this is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. Now read always before. And I have seen and testified that this is the Son of God. You see why that was important to baptize? Because it was there that the sign that God told him, he would see to confirm to him that Jesus one would take place. Because he says, I saw the Spirit descend upon him like a dove and remain on him. When did that happen? When he was getting baptized. Yep. So you see why that was important? Because that baptism would be when Jesus would then reveal himself to John. And then the Spirit would come down as a dove and remain on Jesus, which is the sign that John was waiting for. And then the Father speaks, this is my Son whom I love, with whom I'm well pleased.